Let's see how hot this is. They're about eight inches away. Holy cow. Okay, I got a package in the mail today and what I want to do is show you something a little bit about radiation and some of the antiques and stuff like that you can get off from eBay or online. And one thing I did look up is for USPS for shipping, you got to have 0.5 milliamp per hour in order to ship it. Above that, you got to go through some hoops and hurdles and labels and that. Picked up a item on eBay. I have a couple different Geiger counters, and the main one we'll be using here is GMC 600 Plus. And I do got one I ordered off from China. This is a hot dog tube and this is a lot more accurate a pancake tube Geiger counter so before I open this package that I got I want to do something and I'm gonna lift my camera up I'm gonna hold this Geiger counter this is running micro sieverts per hour point one zero is usually a background radiation in a house I'm saying probably 0.1 to 0.4. If you can notice, I'm already up to medium at 0.26 or 120 or so clicks per minute, or the milliamp per hour is 0.032. I'm not too awful close to that package yet. I'm probably about almost a foot away. I'm going to move in closer. Keep in mind this pancake Geiger counter is quite a bit more sensitive than the hot dog. But I'm running over 12 micro sieverts per hour, and that would be over 120 times more radiation coming out than the average background of your house. So what we're gonna do is find out what's in this package, and then I'm gonna do some measurements since I got it on. Unknowingly, people are shipping stuff through the Postal Service that actually are quite radioactive on these vintage items and antique items. Probably not a lot out there. There's more than what I thought. Notice how well wrapped this thing is. I mean, you're in plastic, so curious as to see how radioactive it is when I open it. That was wrapped pretty good. I'm going to wash my hands when I'm done with this. What this is is a Ingersoll wrist, a typical wrist watch from the 20s, teens and 20s. And what's on there, of course, is painted radium, if anybody's heard of the movie The Radium Girls. What I'm going to do is take this face off. This would be considered a trench watch. If you turn on a UV, you'll see they glow. The radium interacting with the phosphorus on the paint the phosphorus is long gone but uh, I think the radium has a half-life uh, like 1200 years or something so what I want to do since we got it out is I'm going to take my Geiger counter and just put it on like that Look at that, over 30 micro sieverts. And people wore these. Now, up against your skin, still quite high. I want to do is pop that cap off and of course I am going to wash my hands when I'm done. Alright I got an M50 grade respirator on and I will wash my hands and I'm in a very ventilated room so uh, don't take want to take any risk with getting any of this radium particles to 
breathe it in. That you wouldn't want to breathe in. Let's see how hot this is. They're about eight inches away. Holy cow. Hundred thirty six thousand, hundred thirty, probably going to be over a hundred forty thousand clicks per minute. Three hundred thirty one USB, three thirty three. That thing's going to town. Like I said, point one micro sieverts is say the background radiation in the house. So one would be ten times. This thing's well over three thousand times more potent than background radiation in your house. I'm gonna pause this and go wash my hands and get a bag for that. Actually, I got a bag it came in. It watch is hot. Again, this is a again this is just the 1920s or early 19 in the teens. Ingram wrist with the radium on it. Actually, before I do that, I want to show you. I picked something up from um, where did I get this? United Nuclear. This is a piece of actual uranium and a uranium ore sample. And they're saying that's running with the pancake probe, 125,000 clicks per minute. Now that was what, almost 350? That watch with the radium painted dial. This is actually safe to handle while you wash up afterwards. I still got my respirator on. Right there is the radium. Uranium. See how it glows there? Let's see if this is hotter than that poor watch. Five bucks for this thing for testing and that watch is way hotter than this it's pretty sad well, not sad it just shows you what we didn't know back then so there you are inadvertently mailing highly radioactive stuff through the postal mail take precautions if you're ever messing with something like that there's plenty more of these uh, videos that come I found a lot of interesting uh, things about antiques and stuff that are radioactive. Continue to look for them.